New apartment, guys. What do you think? Hey, got to have the bug stuff up, right? Yeah, we got a nice view out here. But it's freaking cold in New York. Ugh. Hey, guys. Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com. And in this video, it is vlog number 19. I know I am not in my car right now. And I know that uh, you guys are probably wondering, like, hey, Chris, what the hell? Where are you? I'm actually in my little humble abode, my little apartment that I have here in Rockland County, New York. Uh, again, temporarily staying here, you know, we're trying to get the heck out of New York and move south. And uh, speaking of moving south, I will be at um, the Volksblast in Miami this weekend. So I'm heading down to Florida on Thursday. Uh, I've got some business meetings lined up. Again, we're trying to move our business down to Florida. I'm trying to figure out if 2020 is our year. I told my wife, hey, this is the year we have to make a final decision. So uh, I'm heading back down there again to meet and greet. And then I'll definitely will be at the Bulks Blast on, uh, in Miami on Sunday. So uh, looking to get out of the cold here. But um, so reason for this vlog, this is vlog number 19. And um, I know the last vlog I did was before the holiday uh, came. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what happened uh, last week. And it was the Scottsdale auctions, you know. And I, I like to talk about the auctions each year. It kind of gives you an idea of where the market is. And uh, my dad and I have been talking, you know, and said, hey, I wonder what the market's going to do this year for the Volkswagens, the Beatles. Um, and overall, from what we saw, I mean, everything still looks really good, looks really strong. Some cars did really well, and some cars did some mediocre. Um, it always seems like a crapshoot when it comes to uh, watching these auctions and where the cars are going to go. I mean, it all depends on what day you're going to be crossing the block, because uh, a lot of times you cross the block, and it's just at a bad time. You know, maybe it's a Wednesday or Thursday morning or something, or even Tuesday. I think Barrett Jackson was all last week, so... You know, depending on the days, I mean, Fridays and Saturdays, the weekends, of course, are going to be, you know, your your bigger bidders are going to be there. It's going to be more crowded and it's going to be more of a frenzy. Uh, so you could get actually some great deals uh, on, on the days before. I always make sure when I go down to the one in Palm Beach uh, that I go like on the Thursday because it's less of a crowd there. I don't like too many crowds, uh, too much of a crowd, you know, in the area. So, but uh, overall, the consensus is uh beetles did pretty well two of my volkswagens uh one of them that i had fully restored uh and then another one that i partially worked on uh went through barrett jackson and the one that i actually did uh the 53 oval window rag top uh which was that burgundy um had the the, the wheat interior the tan top um i was really surprised i actually thought i was going to go for a little bit more because i actually sold it for more um seven years ago so uh, I was pretty uh, surprised. I thought it was going to actually do better. Um, and I was a little disappointed thinking, all right, maybe the Beetle uh, market is softening. Maybe it's on its way down, uh, kind of leveling out maybe. I don't think it's dipping down. I think it's maybe, maybe if it was leveling. Because even the cars before my 53, I think even on Wednesday, uh, my gosh, I mean, they, they did okay. I mean, some of them, there were really nice restorations they looked like. Uh, and went for kind of average money, I thought, you know, uh, to me, at least in my opinion, I thought they would have went for more because you can tell more went into the restoration. Uh, so again, it could have been the days, but shortly after the 59 convertible that we uh, also uh, worked on did phenomenal. Uh, I think after a buyer's premium, I, I, I posted the video last week, it did over 70 grand. So that's really good. Um, and then we even saw a Carmen Ghia cross the block at uh, Gooding and Company, a 74 Carmen Ghia that was all original and supposedly had 400 original miles or something. Uh, wow, it did 77.5. And I think after then the buyer's premium and such, it was over 80 grand. So uh, some things showed real good strength and some things showed, you know, average stuff and I, I got to tell you, though, it's funny when I, you go to the Facebook forums, and I know there's a lot of passionate people out there, and everybody ripping and roaring of what these Volkswagens are going for. I mean, if you did notice, the buses showed a little uh, softness. Um, you know, I think only one of them that crossed Barrett-Jackson did over, no, I don't think anything crossed over 200. So if you look at the list that I show you, I'm putting up on the screen right now for you to look at. I'm, I'm going through the cars for you here. And to, to show you what crossed Barrett-Jackson, um, I don't think anything crossed the 200 mark. Now, I know 
even you know over 100 grand for these buses many people still can't believe that they're going for that kind of money now they've been doing that kind of money for quite a while now uh so i even went to barrett jackson i think three four years ago in palm beach and i saw one of them do 265,000, and that was even before the buyer's premium i think so you, you're looking at close to 300 grand for a bus uh, and i know there's people on facebook everyone's kind of annoyed you know that these things are going um you know for such crazy money and i know these are people that maybe grew up with these cars and you know you guys remember what these cars were going for you know 10 20 30 years ago 40 years ago what you could pick them up for but you know look that that time is not um, around anymore you know i mean i hate to say maybe you're stuck in that time period um and look i i used to play nintendo when i was a kid in the 1980s and i had super mario brothers and I had the one cartridge that had just the Super Mario Brothers on it, not the duel with Duck Hunt and such. I don't know if you guys remember this stuff. And I think recently that Super Mario Brothers cartridge went for $100,000 and still on the wrapping. Um, that doesn't bother me. I mean, it's crazy to think that that cartridge went for that kind of money. Video games, you know, crazy money. Volkswagens, yeah, some of them are doing crazy money. And, you know, let the powers be. Um, things level out. Things always seem to correct themselves. But time moves on, and, you know, these, these cars are becoming more rare. I know we're, we're used to seeing them for, you know, under 10 grand for a very long time, I guess. But I, if you do go back in history and you see the, the, um, the, the, the rates of what the Beetle has been doing, it's always been a steady incline. It's never been a real big shoot-up. I mean, I've seen crazy numbers for Volkswagen Beetles for quite a while now. I've been doing the business full-time 12 years. I've been in the hobby since 1999, and I've seen how they've climbed. So some of these prices that we saw last week is nothing new. This has been going on for years, uh, these prices. So... Um, you know, there was a 58 agave green ragtop beetle. And you can, guys can Google all of this. Uh, ragtop beetle, I think two or three years ago, that did over 80 grand. And it was just an agave green two-fold ragtop with the, I think it had the two-tone, you know, uh, light gray, uh, light uh, off-white and gray, uh, green interior. So, you know, th this is, these cars are just there, for, you know, whatever somebody's willing to pay for them. You know, I know people get caught up in the frenzy, and I know it seems very, very inflated. And, you know, the average prices for these things, if you look on a standard classified ad online, uh, you know, they're not really at those price points. You might get people that and ask those prices after they see an auction. You know, no, no hard feelings towards everybody. I know it's tough to swallow sometimes when you see crazy prices like that, because you might think back in your mind, oh, I used to have one of those, and I only paid 500 bucks for it, and then I sold it two years later for 1000 bucks. And, you know, I, I get it, man. I mean, this, 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 in the 12 years I've been doing this full time, I have found gems of cars that I've gotten real cheap that I can never buy at those prices ever again. I just, it's just a fact of life. So nothing wrong. I mean, look, th this is what's happening. You got to be able to adjust. Maybe these cars are going way up faster than our incomes are going up. Sure. <laughs> but, you know, um, to some degree, you got to be you got to look at the bright side of it. I mean, they, these things are seeking. They're, they're valuable now, um, at least some of them that are rare. Uh, so, you know, let it be if, if there's a correction to be made. Things will be corrected, and and that's it. So, um, other than that, that's basically it. I want to talk about um, my uh, what's going on in my shop. We're working on that '56 oval window, uh, Strato Silver. I know I put a video out uh, last week in regards to what's happening in our shop, and uh, just gotta tell you guys if you can listen to what I say in the videos, and then I have a description below the video. I, I add extra detail there. So uh, I probably answered um, probably about 20 or 30 people wondering what the color was of the 56 oval uh, beetle that we're working on. And it's strato silver. And I mentioned in the video that it's strato silver. I just love the look of the strato silver. Everybody who comes in here sees the strato. And if you guys uh, need a paint code for this, I have it. So 
I know sometimes there might be commotion around you or you're quickly browsing through YouTube and you don't want to sit and listen, but um, you know, look, we put time into these videos. So if you can, uh, just take a listen and, and uh, I, I give all the details I can, but you know, you could always pop me an email, pop a comment below and I'll definitely respond and I'll do my best. But uh, we're doing the chassis right now and we're wire wheeling uh, the tunnel and we, we cut off the pans and we got some new thick pans coming in. Uh, to put in on that chassis which is really cool and I always love looking at the chassis and then be able to break down and see what what we uh, what we have to do to the to the chassis and for the most part it's always the same thing uh, we just go ahead and get pretty much new when we can and uh, something's beeping and that's a truck outside holy cow I don't know if you guys can hear that <laughs> see this is live this is a vlog here um, but yeah, so 56 oval bug. And again, these are cars that are coming, you know, they're, they're older and older and they're more rare and more rare. And that's a completed car, complete car, numbers matching, you know, unhacked, you know, um, original motor and everything's going back bone stock with it. So, you know, these are the things, if you do have that chance to get these cars, grab them because, you know, you never know what they're going to be worth. Um, down the line, as it, as we see, as time goes on, it looks like everything's on the incline. I mean, but not a huge steep stuff. I mean, it might look like that, and you follow and you look at the hype on the on the on the screen. It looks like it's it just happened, but it hasn't been. It's been doing that for quite a while now. I mean, seeing these spikes in the Volkswagens for quite a while now. Um, I remember Wayne Carini with his show when he went to um, I think it was RM auction and he took two Beetles with them. And this is talking, you're talking a good 10 years ago. Uh, he had a 59 convertible, same color, that that, uh, that Atlas Blue that crossed the Barrett uh, last week. And I think at that time, 10 years ago, it went for like 50, 49, 48, 50,000. That was before the buyer's uh, uh, fee. So I think the buyer's fee is like, I don't know, 10, 12%, something like that, maybe more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so... I know, I, I always bring this up, uh, each year, each January is kind of an indication of what the year is going to be and what the market is at this point. Uh, so um, I hope you don't mind me talking about this and I, I, this is an open forum guys, I, let's just keep it civil and you know, if anyone wants to chime in, yeah, chime in and give your, you know, give your thoughts. Uh, I would love to hear it and see what, what you think here. But I don't think it's a bad thing and you know, not necessarily a good thing to some people, <laughs> I don't know. You know, but um, look, time is going on. We're all getting older and uh, things things increase in value, you know. So, um, uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It seems so odd I'm doing this in my apartment. I've never done this one before, so kind of changing it up here. Um, I would do it in my car, but I actually my drive to work now is shorter because I moved to this new place. So five minutes... Um, to work and uh, I do have to drop my pooch off to my mom. She's actually in the same complex I just got to go to the different building and she has to babysit our little girl. So uh, I have to drop the little pooch off to uh, uh, To my mom. So um, Also uh, again, I will be in Miami this Sunday for the Volks Blast. I haven't been to the Volks Blast in a, in a few years now uh, last time I went I actually shipped my 54 oval uh, ragtop beetle down and um, I drove from West Palm to uh, to Miami, uh, my uh, family member that has a house in West Palm, so uh, we stayed there and then drove down to the show, the Volks Blast. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not doing that this year. I'm just going down and uh, with a friend of mine, and uh, we're looking to have a good time. So uh, hope to see you guys there, and uh, I will see you uh, next time. All right, take care. Um, um, um.